What are some things you've learned in school? I learned how to count to 10 in Spanish, like this. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. George Washington Carver really wanted to go to school. Do you remember what he did so he could go to school? The school in his hometown wouldn't let him in because of his skin color. So when he was only about 11 years old, he moved by himself to a new town with a school that would let him in. Keep watching to find out what happened next. And while you watch, you can color this picture and answer the questions that go along with our story. Just ask your parents to click the link in the video description to download and print this free picture. After the video, you can use the instructions in the Bible shape to enjoy some time with God, your creator for yourself. Now, let's find out what happened next to George Washington Carver. George Carver moved to the town of Neosho all by himself when he was only about 11 because he really wanted to go to school. In this new town, George met Mr. and Mrs. Watkins. They said he could live with them while he went to school. They even gave him a super special present. Can you guess what it was? I've got one right here in this bag. What do you think it is? It was George's very first Bible. George had never had his own Bible before. He was so happy, so excited, and he enjoyed that Bible for the rest of his life. He would read it and pay attention to what God said. It was one of his greatest treasures. George was so excited to learn from the Bible and to finally be able to attend school. George's school was a one-room schoolhouse, kind of like the one in this picture. The whole school was just one room, and all the students learned together with one teacher in the one room. George was so happy he could finally go to school. Maybe he could get some answers to all the questions he had about God's creation. What are some things you've learned in school? Can you add two plus three to make five? Can you spell your name? When I was in school, I learned to spell my name in sign language like this, N-A-T-H-A-N, -A -A Nathan. George learned many things in school, but soon he had another problem. He'd learned everything that teacher could teach him. Now what? If he wanted to keep learning, he'd have to move somewhere else to find a new school. So he moved to another town and began working hard to earn money to go to school. But then something terrible happened. George saw an angry crowd kill a black man just because of his skin color. It was awful. He never forgot that horrible day. George knew that all people of every skin color were made and loved by God. All people are made in the image of God to show his awesomeness in unique and wonderful ways. God wants us to be kind to people and enjoy the ways he made us different. George realized he wasn't safe in that town. The people might decide to kill him too because of his skin color, so he got out of there fast. He moved to a new town where he worked and studied hard. Can you pretend to study hard? Read, 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 and write, 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 write. He worked so hard and he continued to work with plants and wanted to learn as much as he could. George loved God and loved learning about God. He enjoyed taking walks to discover more things about what God had made. He called God Mr. Creator and would talk to God while he walked. Today, some people say science proves the Bible isn't true or real scientists don't believe God created the world. But George's love for God and the Bible helped motivate him to study and learn. He loved science and learning because he loved God the Creator. By now, he had studied enough that he was able to apply to a college, and he waited for that college to send him an acceptance letter. And then one day, he got a letter. What do you think it said? Let's find out. The letter said, <clears throat> Dear George Carver, we are writing to let you know you've been accepted into our college. Congratulations! George was super excited. He was going to college. He packed up and moved again to go to the college. But when he got there, they wouldn't let him in. This college does not accept black students, they told him. You'll have to leave. George couldn't believe it. They wouldn't let him in. 
Today, people of all skin colors are welcome in college, but back then, many people believed a lie that only people with lighter skin should go to college and get an education. George was heartbroken to be treated so terribly. It was so unfair. Not only had he moved just to go to the school, but going to college was his dream. What would he do now? Where would he go? Would he ever get to go to college? Oh no, what's going to happen to George? You can watch George Carver Part 3 on the Kids Enjoying Jesus YouTube channel to find out what happened next. If you want more activities to help you learn about God and George Carver, ask your parents to check out George Carver, God's Plant Doctor at KidsEnjoyingJesus.com. It's free, and it's got lots of game and activity ideas to help you learn more about God the Creator, like George Washington Carver did. One of them is a nature scavenger hunt, and you can try it today. George Washington Carver enjoyed taking walks and talking to Mr. Creator as he enjoyed the incredible world God made. You can go for a walk and enjoy a nature scavenger hunt where you talk to God too. You'll need an area where it's safe to play outside and a list of things to hunt for, like this one from KidsEnjoyingJesus.com. You may also want a box or bucket to collect some of the things you find, or a camera to take pictures of them. Try to find interesting things like something the size of your fingernail, something bigger than you, two different kinds of leaves, something an animal would eat, two different rocks, something that grows in the ground, and other interesting things. Imagine God making and caring for each of these treasures. Talk to God about what you've found and thank Him for the ability to enjoy His creation. You can download and print a free list for your nature scavenger hunt by clicking the link in the video description. I hope you have fun hunting for interesting things God made and talking to Him about His creation like George Washington Carver did. It's a fun and easy way to enjoy God our Creator. Thanks for watching!